Any questions? Shall we ask you a question? Please do. Okay. Well, we've got a question here from Don Deagia. Deagia? No, Deagula. Deagula. No, the eagle. The eagle. eagle. Pardona me, por favor. Uh, he asks, or says, or both, looking at all the events of recent years, we can say that the traditional lineage of the Nawal has changed. It is closed with Don Juan. However, the Nawals and the warriors now have the same task, but with certain lines completely changed. Can you say something about it? First of all, thank you, Don. Don is an astute warrior, sorcerer, and his questions revolve around the continuation of the Tolteca lineage. And his concern is, watching the progression of this Nawal, that all of the people that I have activated and all the apprentices that I've had were brought to the precipice, and did they leap? That was between them and spirit. In many cases, not. So he is looking and saying, in order to get a combined group of sorcerers who are all intended warriors, 8 to 16, maybe that's an impossible task in today's age. For me, for the Nawal, it's always an unbending intent, so it's never impossible. Difficult? Yes, because self-importance is on the rise, and people with the abilities to actually be part of that lineage at conception have been minimalized due to various, um, let's say, lineage distortions over the years. So, as we proceed as, as a Nawal, I still have the same intention as the original Nawal map, and that is to have a complete group of sorcerers with me for infinity. That never changes. Getting them is much more interesting because we don't have the conditions like in ancient Mexico where people actually mm, said, on the wall, I'd really like to be an apprentice. I'd really like to be part of that lineage. I have a historical record that I'm familiar with from the codexes or any of my village people. Since people don't have that, the first part that I have to do is to educate them and move their assemblage point. That hasn't changed. And the walls always had to move the assemblage point of any person who was put in their path from spirit. That process is more creative than ever because the context for most people is so far out of the world that their ability to even have experienced one thing magical in their life is, is pretty minimal. So when you bring them in and you begin to show all these magical things and they're brought to the precipice after let's say 25 years, they may choose to return to the known world and forget everything that happened in sorcery, mainly because the support for sorcerers in this world is even less than it was I'd say during the um, you know, conquest years. Conquest years were great challenges for the Nawals because, well, everybody was being killed, so they had to go further and further undercover. Today it's like a lukewarm undercover. They can be as we are on the internet, but who cares? And that's the big question. And I'm going to put forth this in this short document as a fact to Don and anyone else. Since we're putting a lot on the internet, the first time in a wall has ever done this in the history of our lineage, how many out there would like to actually see a real power spot? We will take you out if we get enough people saying yes, 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 we would like to see a real power spot. We will take you out to the land in the next question and answer period in this series and show you the physical power spot of the Nawal Q, one of his power spots. My ancient Weechel grandmother said to me one time, I would never show anybody, not even my own kids, my power spot. At the time, as a young apprentice, she being my grandmother, I said, well, that means I can't share with anybody. She said, absolutely. Now I'm sharing with everybody who wants it. I, as in a wall, am changing the rules, die, and yet still obeying the power spot rules. For you, my brother. <laughs>